And now, a title match for the Mid-South Tag Team Championships. This event is for one fall or remaining television time. In the red corner at 295 pounds from Reno, Nevada. Jim, the Anvil, Neidhart. And his partner at 260 pounds from Kansas City, Missouri, Hacksaw Butch Reed. And across the ring, the Mid-South Tag Team Champions at 282 pounds from New York City, Hacksaw Duggan. And his partner at 238 pounds from Virginia Beach, Virginia, now also the North American heavyweight champion, Magnum T.A. You'll watch we have another sanctioned championship match here on television this week now. The champions, Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Magnum T.A. against the challenge of Hacksaw Butch Reed and his partner, Jim Danville Landhart. The bell, Johnny Martinez, the referee. Well, Reed is really upset, really upset. And the people were chanting as he came out, Reed ain't got no belt, Reed ain't got no belt. They were really excited. Grizzly Smith rose to the occasion. The fans had selected Junkyard Dog as the opponent. He ended up being the opponent, but he ended up being the special referee. And there certainly was a lot of his influence in that match in that right cross. As the second time Reed went up to try to come off and injure Magnum T.A., the Junkyard Dog just didn't let it come down. Now Jim the Anvil Neidhart. And with a chant from the fans of Dugan, Dugan, he's in the ring now against Neidhart. Good drop, take, drop toe takedown, back heel. Neidhart checks out, reads in. Reed and Dugan are no strangers. As a matter of fact, Hacksaw Jim Dugan has got one tooth that is chipped off and the nerves exposed and he's a little on edge and it's from a fight he's had with Hacksaw Butch Reed. So Dugan is really upset. Crowd chanting Dugan, Dugan, Dugan. go for a reverse elbow. Reed went for a drop kick. Both men were outmaneuvering each other. Magnum T.A. Body slam. There's a youngster got to give a lot of spunk to. He went out there and accepted that challenge. And it's almost like dreams are made of because now he's the North American champion. You know, he could probably play for the Dallas Cowboys with this kind of luck. Right now. Because the Dallas Cowboys in recent times have it's seemingly have been outplayed and completely out of the ball game, and then they've pulled it out. But I want to point out one thing in that comparison also. If you don't have the talent, you can't make those big rushes from behind like they do and win those games. People keep thinking it's luck. It's not luck, ladies and gentlemen. They got the athletes. And Magnum T.A. happened to have the ability to hit that belly-to-belly -belly suplex, and he could hit it from anywhere, and he could hit it on anybody. And if you've got the technique and work long enough and hard enough at it, you can execute it. T.A. down for the count. Reed in. Front face lock. Neidhart pointing at the referee to keep Hacksaw Dugan at bay. The Mid-South Tag Titles. I don't think I can recall ever seeing two championship matches ever on television. And certainly that's not what Matchmaker Grizzly Smith had, had negotiated and signed. This was a ploy, a Trojan horse ploy by Hacksaw Butch Reed. But there was a joker in the deck. One man, the junkyard dog. Tag is made. Dugan reaching for the tag and Magnum trying to drive for the corner. Jim the Anvil Neidhart, a legitimate 575-pound bench presser, a powerful man, former shot-putting champion, 
former All-American from UCLA, nose guard for the Oakland Raiders, and you know how rugged people are that play for the Oakland Raiders, how physical they are. Also played a little defensive tackle for the Dallas Cowboys, a very regimented type system that he just did not fit into. Tag was made to Dugan, but the referee didn't see it. Or at least I guess Dugan saw it. I didn't see the tag, boy, did you? No, and Hacksaw Butch Reed now after Magnum T.A. They're trying to keep T.A. from getting that corner. They're both doubling up on T.A. trying to wear him down and keep Dugan out of there. That's a smart strategy. I'm sure Reed's pretty desperate right now. T.A. going for the tag. Neidhart coming in. The tag was made then. Tag was made, but the referee's back was turned. The referee's back was turned, and he did not see it. He's telling Dugan to get out. Dugan's up. that double slam. And Dugan says, enough's enough, and he comes to battle. And they're all four going at it. All four going at it. The referee trying to break them up. Neidhart has just thrown Magnum T.A. over the top rope, but the referee was over trying to break up Dugan and Reed, and Dugan is not legally in the ring. We saw the tag, but the referee didn't call it. The legal men are now still Reed and Magnum T.A., but Dugan is out there doing some illegal whipping. Oh, spear mm. and a slingshot. Two big projectiles. Matt, just like two ICBMs making a collision course out there. Hacksaw Dugan. Now, Neidhart. <laughs> Neidhart's got Dugan up. Neidhart drops him with that devastating move out of a fireman's carry position. Now, Neidhart catches Magnum T.A. coming out. <laughs> now, Neidhart goes to polish off T.A. Dugan spears him. Dugan speared Neidhart. Dugan speared Neidhart. T.A.'s down. Reed setting up. Reed setting up for that slingshot. T.A. Oh, Reed leveling with that slingshot. One, two, three. One, two, three. You got new Mid-South Tag Team Champions, boy. I tell you, I've been around pro wrestling a long time, and so have you, and I have never, I have never seen anything like transpired here today. Exactly, I second that motion, Bill, and neither have I. Now we have the new Mid-South Tag Team title holders, Axel Butch Reed and Jim Dan.